The name moon jellyfish is appropriate considering these cnidarians have been to space. They were sent to space as an experiment. Moon jellyfish have crystals in their bodies made of calcium sulfate, which helps them determine their orientation in the water based on gravity. Humans have a similar crystal in their ears, which helps us determine the tilt of our head as well as our forward motion. The findings concluded that the moon jellyfish, who were born in space and then traveled to Earth, ended up developing identically to an Earth-born moon jellyfish, but the space-born jellies experienced vertigo, which affected their motor skills. Potentially, this could mean that if humans ever intend to live outside of Earth's gravity field, then this could pose an obstacle we'll have to face. Coming back to Earth, moon jellyfish are sometimes called saucer jellyfish, and they get their common names from their spherical appearance. They can be found in tropical and temperate oceans worldwide, and tend to stay near the top of the water column. They will also drift into brackish water, or water consisting of both salt and fresh water. They have very little control over where they swim, and sometimes wash up on beaches. Although they do sting, their stinging cells don't penetrate human skin very well, so they often leave little to no marks on our skin. Those with more sensitive skin, or thin skin, may be more affected. Moon jellyfish can grow to be more than a foot in diameter, and are usually a semi-translucent white color, although their color can change based on what they eat. Crustaceans will turn them pink or purple or orange. They also eat plankton, fish eggs, and even other jellyfish. Food is gathered by mucus-covered oral arms that hold the food in place while it is carried to the mouth. There are about two dozen currently classified moon jellyfish species, but they can be difficult to tell apart from one another. The most standout feature for the group as a whole are the four pronounced horseshoe-shaped regions within their bell. These are where sperm or eggs are stored depending on the sex of the jellyfish. Moon jellyfish have a pretty fascinating life cycle. When larvae from fertilized eggs hatch, they will make their way to the ocean floor, find something to attach to, and develop into polyps. The polyps will then produce clones of themselves that will detach from the polyp. These are called ephyrae, and will end up growing into adult moon jellyfish, which are called medusae. The polyps will do this for upwards of 25 years. But medusae usually don't live past their first. They're eaten by sea turtles, seabirds, other jellyfish, and many fish species. For more facts on moon jellyfish, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.